Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we are building an audience participation robot. So we've got a big event coming up and between fights uh, the organizers want a robot or a couple of robots that we can strap balloons to and have uh, audience members go at each other. And the balloons are there so that they don't just kind of destroy each other and instead uh, we know that somebody's won when they've knocked out the balloons on the other uh, robot. Basically, this means that uh, these robots should be really robust and uh, stay working for the entire day, hopefully, uh, and we don't have to do too many repairs on them. Uh, so this is basically uh, audience participation Mario Kart balloon battles, which is going to be so much fun. Uh, so I've got myself set up with a knife here that we're going to attach to a combat robot at some point in today's video. Uh, still quite, kind of working out exactly where that all goes, but we'll, we'll get to that later on. The first thing we need to do is to print a chassis. Now it's printed, it is time to glue up using a mixture of epoxy and super glue so that it holds itself together. And then we're going to leave it for a little bit. And then it is time to paint it. Okay, while we're waiting for that paint to dry, we're going to look at the motor mounting. So uh, the motors are just kind of push fit into holes in the plastic. I could have had screws there and they could have just screwed in place. However, these are going to be given to the audience, possibly the little kids, and someone is going to go full force straight into the wall. So I wanted these motor mountings to be strong and resilient, so we are going to make them out of aluminium. So let's, uh, let's cut some chunks out of this and then drill it all out and now there are four of them. Okay, so the paint is finally dry and it is time to uh, peel off the masking here and reveal the pattern that I've got in this guy. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to prep the knife. And re really all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it, like I've already done, and then we just need to drill a hole, but this knife is hollow, which is really, really annoying. Uh, I thought that I was gonna have a full piece of plastic and then a little bit of metal to drill through, and it looks like it's just thin on either edge, which is not what I wanted, but we're gonna drill through that anyway, get that prepped, and then I think it will actually be time to mount everything in here. And this is where this is gonna to go to. It's gonna sit about there and go chop, 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 something like that. Okay, time to put all of this mess together. And there's no real assembly instructions for this, so I think we're going to put uh, the servo and the weapon in first. We'll work out uh, how these two connect together in a second. Then we'll do the wheels, and uh, yeah, then we'll do the electronics, because they can go in absolutely last. That really does not matter. So, let's get uh, going on this.
Okay, so it's time to do a wheels up test. This is where we power the whole robot on uh, without the weapon connected and with the wheels off the ground so that if something goes wrong, uh, then it's not going to hurt, well, me, I guess. Uh, I and mean, you guys are gonna come along for this ride because this is the first time I've wired this up. So uh, something could smoke and yeah, we're just gonna have to try and find out really. Uh, so let's power this up with the link. Okay. That actually seems good. So, I have control over the servo with my thumbstick over here. You guys can probably just hear that. Um, that's really good, that's what I wanted. Now let's see the wheels. I've got one side drive and not the other side drive. Uh, so that's kind of awkward. But they do seem to be going the right way. So that's good. Okay, so I need to redo my wiring, but nothing seems to have smoked. So that's a good start. Um, also, you can see I've put the knife on springs. So once we connect the servo to the knife, I think we're just with some like fishing wire or something, the servo will pull it up and then the springs will retract it back down again, hopefully popping a balloon. Okay, I think I've got the issue sorted. So time for a quick test drive and then we will uh, hook up the weapon and see if it can actually pop a balloon, what it's supposed to be doing. Goes pretty well. Okay, so the weapon is all hooked up and it is time for the final weapons test. So let's just plug this guy back in, get him running again, and as you can see, if I waggle the stick one way, knife lifts up. If we go the other way, it goes all the way down to its end point. And like I said, this is on a spring, so it's always just going to come straight back down again, which is perfect. But the thing we need to know now is can it pop this balloon? Let's, let's take a good old crack at it. Well, I can drive over there. Ah, no! Whoa, yes, there we go. All right, this guy does his job and does his job very, very well. Nice. Okay, and that is all I have for you today, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video.